Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting haul. I have an e.l.f. haul and I am super happy about this because I have not ordered on e.l.f.'s website in literally years. Every time I go on Instagram I always see the new makeup products that they have because I follow them and I just was so intrigued to order on their website because at Target they do sell e.l.f. but the products are very limited to what they have so I'm just excited. I have all the goodies in this box right in here and I did open one thing which I'll talk about in a minute but Let's just dig right in. The first thing I actually got for free, I got this e.l.f. 100 piece eyeshadow palette. My birthday was a couple weeks ago and they sent me an email with like a coupon code saying I could get this for free. I was like, why not, you know? And I'm usually not a huge fan of palettes like this because they're not that pigmented sometimes, but I was very grateful that it was free. So yeah, this is just what it looks like. I believe this retails for $10 or $15 on their website. And it just has a bunch of colors, neutral and bright. And I like how it has like a good variety because I can always use these colors as like a pop of color on the lower lashes. And actually, I did swatch this already, but the colors, I'm pretty impressed with how pigmented they are from just being in a cheap little palette like this. So they're not bad like those shades are actually really pretty and I think that with primer and a little bit of max fix plus I think the shades are going to be awesome so I can't wait to play around with the palette those some of the bright colors right there so not bad at all so I'm super just happy that um, I got this free for my birthday so yeah that is the hundred piece eyeshadow palette all right I'm just gonna dig right in no specific order just picking and choosing so next I got the eyebrow treat and tame a couple people mentioned that the elf um, eyebrow gel was like really good and it was really inexpensive everything I got I believe was like under six dollars which is awesome so this one is in the shade dark this is just what it looks like it says it's supposedly I was reading the reviews on their website and it says it like makes your eyebrow hairs like longer too so I was really intrigued by that but it comes with two Sides. This one is obviously to like tame your eyebrow hairs and then the other one the clear side is to treat them So just to apply this I don't really know when you would apply this I'm assuming It doesn't smell like anything I'm assuming you apply it maybe like before bed or something and then this is what the tinted brow gel looks like So just right off the bat opening it up. It looks really goopy and sticky but we'll see. Next, I got this e.l.f. Longwear Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Spice. This one was only a dollar. I saw really good reviews about this, and I like how it comes with a little sharpener. I think that's cute because it's only a dollar. So I really love lip liners. Um, my two favorite ones are from Rimmel and Revlon. They're like my two favorite brands of lip liners. So this actually doesn't look too good. It's like messed up, but I mean, it was only a dollar. The color actually looks really pretty, like a mauve pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, like I said, it was only a dollar, so what else is in here? I got this uh, Cole eyeliner, just like a black liner. I needed a new one, and this one was only $3. So I like how this also comes with a sharpener. This one's like one of those thicker liners. I really like the like how thick it is, so... Yeah, it looks super black, and you could use it to, like, smudge your lower lashes or, like, at the top of your eyes or something, so. Next, I got this uh, HD Lifting Concealer, and mine's in the shade Brightening, and looking at it right now, it looks super pale. Like, I think this is going to be way too light for me. But I got it specifically for highlighting underneath my eyes because I love that highlighted look, but this looks, like, literally super, like, white. So I don't think this is going to be like my shade. It's probably going to be way too light. Oh yeah, that's going to be way too light actually. But that's just what it looks like right there. Um, this is going to be way too bright. But I'm probably just going to mix it with like another concealer to balance it out. Like a darker one so that it like fits my shade. But it's super creamy just by that swatch right there. It looks nice. And when I blend it out, it feels pretty thick and nice as well. So... I can't wait to use this. There was really good reviews on it, so I got this e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner, and I was actually not sure which one to get. They had like a charcoal and a jet black, so I got the charcoal one. I don't know. I hope it's super dark, but this was only $2. I wanted to see if it was comparable to my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which is like my holy grail um, liquid liner, uh, so we'll see how this looks. The tip reminds me of the Wet n Wild Liner, so we'll see. It looks decently black it actually doesn't look that black it almost looks like a dark 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 gray 
but we'll see. I'll play around with it and I'll let you guys know. I got these dollar lipstick and I actually got two of them. I don't know where the other one is, but this one is in nostal Nostalgic. And I saw really good reviews about these lipsticks for them only being, I believe they were a dollar or maybe two dollars. But this is just what it looks like. The packaging is super like cheap. It's just simple. But I care about the product if within itself. So this lipstick, swatching it, it's not that pigmented actually. Oh my god, they smell so good though. They kind of smell like fruit, which is awesome. But the color is not very pigmented as you can see. Um, it's a really pretty nude color, but it's not that opaque. But I'll make it work. I'll mix it with like a gloss or something for maybe like a light wash of color. I'll make it work. Alright, next I have some brushes in here. And I love e.l.f. brushes. I, the Studio Line ones are my favorite. The ones that I have, I absolutely love. And I saw that they came out with some new ones, so I wanted to try them out. So the first one I got is just a regular stippling brush which looks like this. It feels super soft. I like their small stipple brush. I think it's amazing for like getting underneath your eyes and stuff. So I wanted to try the bigger one out. It doesn't feel super like full and fluffy, but this was only $3. I think it could be good for blush or like a highlight or something or just powder underneath the eyes. And the next brush I got is new. It's the Ultimate Blending Brush. I was so excited to try this out. I think this is gonna be perfect for foundation. It's super, super soft. This is what it looks like. This is literally going to be the perfect foundation brush to like buff in BB cream or tinted moisturizer or anything. So I really like this. It's super soft and it feels actually really full. I want to say this was $3, but I also want to say it was $6. I don't know. But I know e.l.f. prices, is they're kind of going up a little bit, which I wish that they would kind of stay in their dollar to $3 range because that's what like why a lot of people like e.l.f. for their cheap prices, but there was some stuff on there that was actually even $10 and $12, so I was kind of surprised, but anyways, the next one is the contouring brush. I was dying to get this because I've always wanted a brush like this. I think this is going to be like perfect for contouring, and it's super soft. I'm actually super impressed with the quality of these brushes. They feel very sturdy, and I'm excited, so I'll definitely let you guys know about these um, in a upcoming video. Then I got another lipstick. This one is in Captivating. This is just the dollar ones. Um, I really like the way that other one smelled. So hopefully this one smells good too. It smells good too. The color actually, I um, don't really like it. Looking at it in the tube, it looked different on their website. And when you swatch it, it's actually completely different. It's like a tomato orange shade. But this one's definitely more pigmented than the other one. I mean, I'll make it work. Maybe I'll, like, I love mixing lipstick, so usually when I don't like a color, I'll just, like, mix it with something else and make, like, my own shade. So I could mix this with, like, a pink, maybe. But, yeah, it's like a tomato orange, definitely. Then I got the e.l.f. blush palette. These palettes looked amazing, and I actually saw these at Target when I went, so they do have these in the stores as well. So this, oh my god, are you kidding me? The blush is broken. Okay, so I just spilled stuff everywhere, so I'm pretty upset about that. Um, the blush is, like, not completely shattered, just, like, a little bit on the edges. It was just annoying. It was, like, all crumbled and it, like, fell everywhere. But it's really not a big deal, but... Um, anyways, this is what this looks like. The colors are super pigmented and... Yeah, they look decent for blushes. They're just perfect for every day. Definitely, like, wearable. They look all like matte except this one right here kind of has like a little bit of like glitter in it but it doesn't when I swatched it it doesn't look like glittery at all so yeah I'm excited to use this I'll let you guys know okay the next thing I got is another brush this is the eyebrow duo brush and I got this because I really need like a spoolie a brush with a spoolie at the end I was going to get one from Anastasia but that brush is so expensive I was like mm, no way so I got this one and this is what it looks like, just a little angled side and then a spoolie side. I actually wish the spoolie was a little bit bigger but I'll make it work. I always make things work. Right, I got three highlighters. Apparently I ordered two of the same ones which is kind of annoying because I don't remember ordering two of the same ones but okay we're gonna go with it. So this is just what it looks like. Actually looks really pretty and it looks pretty. It doesn't look super pigmented though, but 
Usually highlighters, like when you put them on, they look better than when you swatch them. But that's what it looks like. It's not that pigmented. When you feel it, it almost feels sheer on your hands. It doesn't feel like super like thick and like opaque, powdery type of feeling, if you guys know what I mean. Um, but it's decent. I'll make it work. I think even with Fix Plus, this could be a really pretty eyeshadow as well. Next one I got is in Pink Diamonds. I don't own any pink highlighters. Usually I go for more of like the gold, rose gold type of thing. So I wanted to try this one out because it's like super pinky. It's like a literally a baby pink highlighter. That's what that one looks like. And swatching it, again, it feels the same. It doesn't feel super thick or pigmented. But when you put it on, it's actually really pretty. I think this would be pretty. I can't wait to wear these highlighters. I love highlighted skin. I just think it complements like literally everyone. Next I got the e.l.f. press powder. I actually use this. A couple years ago when I used to order on their website all the time and these powders are really really good these are only three dollars and let me tell you the powders are freaking amazing this is what the packaging looks like it's really good packaging for like it being so cheap okay this is what that looks like these powders are so soft and buttery they're so nice on the skin they set your makeup beautifully like I love them I used to use these all the time and I was like when I was looking on their website I was like oh my god because I literally forgot about these for like forever and I cannot wait to use this again they're just so gorgeous so I definitely recommend these powders like to set your foundation they're amazing then I got the elf acne fighting foundation I've heard so many people talk about this foundation and I wanted to try it out because acne fighting I mean who doesn't want to cover up but at the same time fight acne this is what it looks like the packaging reminds me of the makeup forever matte velvet plus because it literally looks like the exact same thing and this one was six dollars I believe so I love the packaging, how it's like squeezy tube like that. It's literally the exact same thing as the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I wanted to like show you guys. Oh, literally the same packaging. I love it. All right, I got mine in the shade beige. People ask me all the time, how do you find your foundation shade when you're buying at the store or online or something? Honestly, I just wing it. And if it doesn't like match me, I'll mix it with something else so that it does match me or usually with bronzer and blush it all balances out but definitely want to try this out. I will show you guys this maybe in an upcoming video like a get ready with me like I mentioned using all these new products. I think that'll be fun. And the final things I got are just some baked eyeshadows. These were three dollars I want to say. The colors looked beautiful and I was just so intrigued by them. I love anything that says baked because I think it like it just looks so pretty. So the first color, if I can get it out, I'll show you guys. So the first color is in Toasted. This literally looks like, oh my god, so pretty. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of Max Pigment in Tan. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a nude. <gasps> rose gold shade it's right here that looks beautiful just imagine that like all over the lid the tan so gorgeous so I actually like the packaging of these I think they're cute just cute little circles of happiness the next one I got is in bronze beauty it's definitely a beauty it's literally a bronze shade it has a lot of gold undertones which I love I think like with a tan this color is literally bomb but actually, swatching it, this one is not that pigmented. I mean, it's pigmented, but I feel like these definitely are going to need some Fix Plus because, well, they're not bad, actually. It's there on the side. But I feel like with Fix Plus, they're going to look just look so much better. So that is Bronze Beauty. And the final one I got is in Bark. Just a brown taupe shade, and that's what this one looks like. So really pretty. I just, I love brown. Like I love like having a smoky eye. Ooh, this one's really pigmented. Oh, look, I love it. Okay, that's what that one looks like. Super pretty, super pigmented. I cannot wait to use these. The colors are like right up my alley. Like my kind of shade. Wait, there's one last thing at the bottom. One little guy right down there. Okay, so this is the e.l.f pressed mini mineral bronzer it's super small that's what it looks like this was six dollars i can remember that so that's what it looks like um it's pigmented though it's more of like oh my god that is super dark it's a super like velvety blends in beautifully this is going to be like a perfect contour color and this one is a matte bronzer so it has no shimmer in it but that looks really beautiful i can't wait to use this little guy all right
Alrighty, so those are all the goodies I got from e.l.f. I'm super happy to try them out, and I'm really happy with everything I got, minus the, the fact that my blush was a little bit cracked, but it's alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it if you love hauls, and be on the lookout for an upcoming like get ready with me because I'm going to be trying out all these products so I can give you guys like my first impressions on them. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!